Puzzle boxes? Puzzle boxes. Puzzle boxes. What is up, YouTube? We're the Secret Stash Bros, and in this video, we're going to show you how to make a mini puzzle box crate. So before we get into cracking open the puzzle box, some of you might remember this creepy, freaky little boat that we made in our last video. <laughs> in that video, at the end, I told you guys it has a purpose. That purpose is that this thing is actually going to show up in all of our projects from now. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hiding this thing in all of our videos. It might be in the background, might be someplace weird, but we're going to hide it and we want you guys to find it and leave us the time in the video where you found it. And if you guys leave a very unique comment, it doesn't even have to be about this video, as long as you do that and give us the time frame and what you saw, we'll pin your comment and it'll be for there all of eternity. Won't that be fun? Would you stop that? <laughs> Oh yeah, and the reason it's in a clamp is because we had a little accident at home. I had an accident with the boat and it broke its rudder. Didn't even get to see its maiden voyage. The double secret box. They have no original names. Okay, the problem with these is on That the they're back. moldy. My bagel's moldy. <laughs> it is moldy. What? It is. I had bagels this morning though. Check the bottom one. Made the bottom feel good. We have not looked at it, so Ow. I'm taking this off. Throwing it. Do they slide? No, that doesn't slide. Sounds like there's a marble inside of it. Yeah, I can. Okay, there's no seams there. Yeah. It's a bad sign when you can't get it open really quick. Oh, what was that? You can feel it moving. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like split right here. So it's not connected. Yeah. See how it's moved away from But maybe there. we're a step ahead. Maybe it's something maybe, else. Maybe. Maybe that's a second step. But we can't get it out yet because of something else. I know these are hiding something. Okay. As usual, guys, the link for this will be down in the description. So, if you want to try and get it yourself, pause the video, go to Amazon, buy the puzzle box, figure it out, then come back here and watch us struggle for several more. Look at the different colors here. Got this color. color and this color are different, so there's probably a seam behind there. So. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. There. We figured out that this popped up. We lifted that up. Okay. And we got a little peg here. I would say that this one, despite the fact that it took us longer to figure out, I think it's an easier one to make. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, so okay. give me a tape measure. All right, let's hop into the build. First off, like any other project, you have to start out by building your mainframe. We decided that the easiest way to reconstruct this puzzle box would be to make it a lot bigger than the original box. Now this might get a little repetitive, but most of this box is composed of just small panels connected by nails and glue. So for starters, we had to make our top, bottom, and four sides. One of the longer sides has a hole in it that'll be for a drawer, and then one of the shorter sides will have a hole in it as well for the other drawer. We have to cut some grooves in here so that we can make it look like a box and it's going to help hide our seams. On our journey of learning how to make secret compartments and puzzles, we've learned that trim pieces and grooves are some of the best ways to hide any hidden areas. For the handles of our end drawer, we had to cut out two of the corner pieces on the top of our box and the bottom of our box. The scroll saw was perfect for this as it's super easy to make really refined cuts. Now, we're going to glue some wood. In total, you'll need about 12 trim pieces to go all the way around your box. About an inch in width should be good enough to cover up any little cracks or seams in the drawers. You definitely don't want to make them too thin, as this can lead to some real problems when you're trying to cover everything up at the end. For the drawers, these are going to be a little bit trickier. Each one has something special about it that helps keep the puzzle box locked, unless you perform the specific actions in the right order. So starting off with the side drawer, you're going to have to make the front of this drawer a little bit longer on one side. This is going to be for the little tiny dowel that's going to insert into the other drawer. It might be hard to picture here, but you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. For the drawer that sits in the front, this one is pretty much normal, except for the tiny little corners that you cut out earlier. 
Those are going to get attached to the top and bottom corners of the drawer. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but you'll see here. Probably the most interesting thing about this box is this small little peg right here. This is pretty much the linchpin to the whole box. And so that's what we're going to be making right now. This little peg, we're going to make a little hole inside of this drawer right here. And then that's going to interlock with this back drawer back here. As you can see here, this is why you want to make the front of your side drawer a little bit longer. So that you can drill this little pilot hole for the dowel. Make sure that when you're drilling the pilot hole that both drawers are in place so that when you're drilling it, the holes will both match up when you stick the dowel in and it won't be off and you won't have any trouble getting them both in. As I stated earlier, grooves are a great way to hide hidden compartments. So what we do is we use a wood burner like this one to conceal everything on pretty much every one of our projects. What's better than one wood burner? Two wood burners. Let's go. Once we were done wood burning everything, we went around all of the trim pieces and sanded them all up to make them nice and smooth. And then finished it off with a nice natural stain. I know, we're pretty boring. What fascinates me about this box is that the overall design with the trim pieces makes the user think that they're supposed to be pushing on something, when in reality, you're supposed to be pulling. Once you figure out that you're supposed to actually pull on the trim pieces instead of trying to push, it becomes super simple. Hey, this was a really fun project to build. It, it didn't really take us that long. You can make it out of one sheet of 4x4 creates plywood, cut all your pieces from it. That's it. That's what we used. Compared to the last one, it was super simple. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the yep. video, make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more of our content. Share this video if you want to, if you think you know someone who would find it interesting. And thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.